So hi everyone, it's Dave and a very quick update to my cable making video that I made. Um, I get a lot of advice and get told when I've done things wrong and when I've done things right and it's brilliant. It's a great opportunity that I've got having this YouTube channel in that I can tap into all this resource that's out there. Um, and it's fairly evident from uh, the emails and the messages that actually my cable making technique of using my clamp to clamp down the uh, copper connectors, which are these things, um, is not very good. Uh, I've kind of always done it, and I must admit, I always did it on the basis of, well, the cable doesn't come out and you can't pull the cable out, uh, so that must be fine. But I sh should have really thought about it a bit harder in that, actually, you're not just trying to stop this coming off, you're trying to make the best electrical connection possible as well. And the minute that was messaged to me, I, I kind of rang alarm bells of thinking, oh, Christ, I've not, I've not thought about this properly. Um, so I have bought a tool which somebody linked to me, so thank you very much for that. And it's the, basically, it's just a very large clamp. Um, and it can do about 10 ton against my uh, clamp on the desk, which can do, hello cat, uh, one ton. So, uh, a big difference. I've used the die and clamped one end down and you can just tell it does clamp super, super tough. No way one of these ends are coming out. And you can also just tell that it's a lot Smaller is that the way? It's obviously compressed it a lot more. Um, I did then try and get one of my ends off and actually with full force you can pull it off. So my thoughts about it being you know super tough and on there actually isn't quite right. If I really give it everything I've got I can pull my ends off. I can't pull one of these off. Um, so I'm just going to clamp one now actually. I'll see if I can set the camera up to just show that happening and um, you'll see what I mean. It's a so much so much so much stronger. Right, so nice close up look on that, if it will focus. There we go, it's kind of pinched it into, or pinched it into a uh, hex kind of shape. It's not circular, as I was getting before by crushing it. Um, and that really is not coming off. There's no chance <laughs> in a million years I'm pulling that off, which I know I said for my other ones, and I did actually manage to pull it off in the end. So, there we go, gonna heat shrink that and uh, get the other ones done but that is a damn sight better than uh, than I was doing previously so thank you again for all the advice and um, never too old to learn and uh, super strong cable excellent so I was just playing with this after I turned the video off and uh, I've managed to clamp it down a good couple of other notches a uh, good couple of other presses on here you can see how it's really squished out these uh, flanges now um, and compressed the middle bit like a core um, what I did is I just put, I put this in the vise, just like this, very loosely gripped, it's hardly hardly holding it, but it just allows me to pump this a lot easier um, with one or two hands, and uh, as I say, got a couple of extra pumps into it, which then gets these these dies that are in here, it does say in the instructions, get them to go very close, but not touching. And I never really felt like I got them very close, but they are very close now, so that's excellent. So there's a couple of extra notches on there, and uh, thank you again for all the advice. Um, Keep it coming. If you spot something that I'm doing wildly wrong, then you know, let me know and I'll improve. Video it and then of course if that helps anybody else out there, then all good with the world. So thank you again and I'll catch you next time.